Hi, this is Dr. Jordan Lamberton. I'm so excited you're starting your braces adventure with us today. In this video, I'll be sharing with you what you need to know and what you can expect along your braces journey. If you have any questions after this video, please ask them directly to your amazing experienced smile architect. Also, much of this information is in our Hello Ortho playback that you'll be receiving. This is a map or outline of your entire braces journey. You've already started your adventure by getting photographs and x-ray and a 3D model of your teeth. I have personally already designed your smile and pre-customized your braces behind the scenes. Today when the braces are placed, you'll be receiving your initial wires. After that, there's an intermediate and a third final wire. In between these milestones are various other appointments to get you to the end of your braces journey. Let's talk about today's procedure. You'll notice that your braces are already prefabricated. The process we use is called indirect bonding. It's a very modern way to place braces. We use this technique because it allows me, your doctor, to pre-plan and pre-customize the braces according to you and your specific plan. This helps us to get the braces on the correct position right from the get-go, so there's less moving of the braces or adjusting wires later in treatment. Today will be lots of rinsing and drying. Your smile architect will start by cleaning your teeth off. Then a special shampoo will be placed on your teeth to clean the tooth even more and then rinsed off. This is followed by a primer to get the tooth ready to accept the glue or composite of the braces. Next we add glue to the backs of the custom braces tray. Once all the teeth are completely ready and completely dry, we will place the trays all together on your teeth. We then use a special blue light to make sure all the glue hardens. Then the special trays are removed from the mouth and the braces are now secured on your teeth. Finally, your initial arch wires are placed and your teeth will actually begin to move over the next few months. Let's review all the parts of the braces appliance. We'll start with the actual braces themselves. These brackets don't actually move the teeth. They're more like the handle that allow the wires to be tied to the tooth. The arch wires that are placed into the braces are actually what move the teeth. We use a special shape memory arch wires that can be deformed, but they always want to go back to their original shape. Next we have elastic ligatures. For special self-flagging braces, these are typically not needed. But if you want fun colors, that's okay. You just have to have a B or better grade on your hygiene. You can get whatever color you want. Occasionally we have to use bands, especially with expanders. But overall, we pride ourselves on not having to use orthotic bands very often, making your experience much safer and more comfortable. Buckle tubes are placed on your back molars. These are similar to braces, but don't need doors or elastic colors. In special circumstances, we are able to place braces on the inside. These are otherwise known as lingual braces. They work very similar to the braces on the outside. The braces we prefer to use at Hello Ortho are self ligating or self-tightening braces. The difference between these and standard braces is they have a special door that locks the wire in. These, these braces can cut down on the treatment times because there's less friction between the wire and the bracket. Sometimes we'll also use a special wire over the brace called a wire ligature or stainless steel tie. Hooks on our braces are used for elastics or rubber bands that we may ask you to place on yourself throughout treatment. The elastics or rubber bands come in different sizes and we ask you to wear them off specific teeth. Please follow the instructions we give you for where and how often to wear them during your treatment. The rubber bands are essential for correcting your bite and get, getting your braces off on time or sometimes even early. Just remember rubber bands can be hard to get used to at first because of the discomfort, but after one to two weeks of wearing them consistently, most patients do great with them. Occasionally when there are spaces around your teeth, we will use something called a power chain. A power chain is an elastic series of links that stretches and connects multiple braces together and closes spaces. Sometimes if we're trying to create space, we will place what's called an open coil spring. This can be very important if we're trying to make room for a tooth that doesn't have space. In many cases, we also have to place bite turbos. These are composite pads that are placed on the biting surfaces of your teeth. They help separate your bite so that when you chew and you speak, you don't hit or break your lower braces on your top teeth. They also help speed up your treatment because we're able to get your lower braces on right from the get-go. Don't worry, they'll be removed as soon as we possibly can. They are, however, probably the most uncomfortable part of the braces experience. However, give it time. Most people get completely used to them after two to three weeks. Next, let's talk about oral hygiene. It's very important that you keep your teeth and gums healthy during the braces journey. At every visit, we'll be grading your hygiene A through F. If you happen to get a grade of C or below three times in a row, we'll have to take your braces off. 
Patients who exhibit consistently poor oral hygiene get swollen red gums and also get white spotting or scarring around the braces of their teeth. Sometimes these can even turn into cavities. To achieve great hygiene, we'll start with how to floss with braces. You can easily floss underneath the wire with Super Floss, a floss threader combined with any type of floss, or there's a great tool called the Platypus Flosser which fits underneath the braces. To use floss, make sure the floss is threaded underneath the wire, then wrap the floss around the tooth like a beach towel and go up and down. Do the same to the tooth next door. Make sure you repeat this across all the contacts of all your teeth. We realize that flossing with braces every single day may be a bit challenging, which is why I recommend the water pick to be used on days where flossing is not possible. We still do recommend at least two to three times of actual flossing per week, supplemented with the water pick on all other days. Or even better yet, you can floss and do the water pick every single day. It's obviously a little bit more difficult to brush with braces than without, and there's more surfaces to brush, and overall it's kind of like an obstacle course. I recommend an electric toothbrush rather than a standard toothbrush, as they work better. After flossing your teeth, start by holding your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle towards the gums. This is where the majority of the plaque builds up. Don't be afraid to brush your gums, even if the gum tissue feels sensitive or tingly. Start on the upper right side, moving from the back of your teeth to the front of your teeth. Make sure you brush every single tooth. Repeat this on the upper left and lower left and the lower right areas. Then move on to the inside surfaces of your teeth and make sure you get all four areas again. The upper right, the upper left, the lower left, and the lower right. Next, make sure you brush the biting surfaces of all your teeth on the upper and lower jaws. Next, turn the bristles down at a 45 degree angle towards the top side of the braces. Start from the back, move to the front, making sure you brush every single tooth on every side. Make sure you get all areas of your mouth. Next, turn your toothbrush 90 degrees down towards your braces and try and get the bristles to go over the braces and in between the wire. Make sure you clean every bracket on all four sides. Start in the upper right and move from the back to the front the same as you had before. Repeat in all four areas again. Next, make sure you, you go at a 45 degree angle and a 90 degree angle, but this time angle the brush up toward the bottom part of the brace as well. When at 90 degrees, make sure you get in between the teeth and the wire. Don't forget to brush your tongue as many bacteria, especially the odor causing kind, hang out there. Another tool to help you is the interproximal brush. Use this brush between the wire and the teeth. It's the best tool for cleaning your braces surfaces beneath the arch wire. They're really good for hard to reach places. After all the flossing, the water pick, and the brushing, make sure you give yourself a good one to two minutes with a mouth rinse. A common question we get asked is what can I expect as far as soreness? Typically there is some soreness from the teeth and also soreness from your cheeks and lips coming in contact with the braces. Both are usually low level grade discomfort. Most people say at most they get a 2 or 3 out of 10 discomfort. Initially, most of the discomfort usually comes from irritation of the cheeks and lips from the braces surface. This is good news in that this naturally improves as the body builds up callus and starts to protect and numb any discomfort. Initially, for the cheek and lip irritation, we recommend using a warm saltwater rinse. This is great for reducing bacteria and any inflammation that may be causing irritation or soreness. You can also purchase Aura Gel or other topical oral gels from the local drugstore. For the discomfort associated with the teeth themselves, this is happening because the teeth are being moved through the bone and the gums, which causes discomfort. This type of discomfort is most significant in the first two to four weeks of the braces placement. At each visit and adjustment with us after, there usually is some discomfort, but it's usually nothing compared to the initial two to four weeks that you'll have. We recommend during these first few weeks of taking an over-the-counter pain medication that you'd normally take for minor aches or sorenesses, like a minor headache. I personally recommend Advil or some other form of ibuprofen for braces pain, especially for children. So what food should you eat with braces? We recommend anything healthy, soft, or that's cut into small pieces. You can pretty much eat anything with braces as long as it's cut into small pieces or blended up in a blender or food processor. The foods you should avoid are sugary, hard, sticky, or chewy foods. Sugary foods are not ideal because it can be bad for your teeth and cause white spots or cavities. And the harder, sticky, or chewy foods you should avoid because they can break or dislodge our appliances. So that means no nuts, no popcorn, no hard candies, no corn on the cob, and if you eat an apple, make sure it's cut into small pieces. If a brace comes loose within the first 48 hours, it's usually Hello Ortho's responsibility. After that, it's more than likely something you ate, or a habit, or the way you broke bite down which causes the appliance to come loose. 
So if you did happen to eat a hard candy, you may experience a loose brace. One or two of these loose braces is not a big deal will not affect treatment. However, too many loose braces throughout treatment can cause your overall treatment times and number of appointments to go up, so please treat your braces with care. If you do happen to have one or two braces that comes loose, please know it's not an emergency and you can place wax over the top to stabilize it. Until we see you next time. Another complication that can happen during treatment as your teeth straighten and or spaces are closed during treatment, wires tend to project out the back brace or tube. This can cause an irritation on the inside of your cheek. If this happens, we will cut the wire at the next visit when we see you. Also, sometimes what can happen is we can have poking wires from our ligature or stainless steel ties that go over the braces. Before you call us, some other ways you can solve these poking or irritating wires is to use some wax to cover up the rejecting wire before you come see us. Just make, this, make sure the two surface is completely dry before trying to place the wax. You can also use wax to stabilize loose brackets or other loose appliances. You can also use the end of a pencil, the eraser side, to push any wires towards the tooth or to make them more comfortable. You can also try closing the doors of our braces with the eraser side of a pencil. If you're very adventurous, you can get a clean pair of fingernail clippers or cuticle nippers and try and clip the wire to make yourself more comfortable. Especially with adults in treatment, there are areas we call black triangles, which are little areas between the teeth that, once the teeth are straightened up, show up as little black spaces where the gums have been crowded out. Typically these areas will not grow back, however we sometimes can do a procedure where we smooth out between the teeth and orthodontically close the space which will camouflage the look of those spaces. Another thing that you can expect is your teeth may feel loose or wiggly after a few weeks. Do not worry, they will return to normal after your braces treatment is completed. Also, spaces may open up that were not there before. Again, don't worry, because before we're done we'll close all your spaces. Another common concern we get from patients is that things may start to look a little bit off or actually may look worse during the initial and middle parts of treatment. Again, do not worry, this is all part of the plan and you will have a perfect set of teeth before we're all finished. I'm so excited you decided to start your braces journey with us today. Please don't hesitate to ask me or your smile architect any questions you have today or throughout your entire treatment. Congrats on investing in your smile.